Hello. So, um, I thought I'm gonna make a video of me going to Coventry, Scarman House for my Lincoln's in session. So the thing is, I packed my bag. <laughs> Let me just show. Okay, so I packed my bag. I couldn't sleep last night at all. And then these. I scratched myself here with my long nails. Anyway, so everything is messed up. My brain stopped working. It's like, I don't, <laughs> it just stopped working. Now I'm just having breakfast. It's 11.26 at 12. I need to just get out of my house. And then go to the station and then go to the um, Lincoln's Inn. So from there, the bus will start. And I'm going to head towards Coventry. And then I think it's a two and a half hours journey. Yeah. So I'm going to Coventry to the Scarman house. And I need to stay there for two nights and three days. And that's because I'm doing the bar course where I need to complete 10 qualifying sessions. And if I go there to Coventry and then um, I do well in my advocacy sessions like criminal and civil and then ethics and then public speaking. So I think for uh, sessions where I need to perform well and only then they will give me the um, six points. So yeah it's like a residential weekend where you know like future barristers go and then they do their advocacy sessions and then get their points and then that's it so it's like you know i'm gonna stay with the judges and barristers of the uk so it's gonna be a whole different experience i'm excited for it and also i'm nervous i needed a great sleep um you know like yesterday or today but I couldn't. As you can see, like my dark circles, my swollen face. And without coffee, I cannot function. But now I don't have the time for having a cup of coffee because um, coffee makes me dehydrated and then I keep on going to the washroom. So I need to skip that. And now I'm just having my breakfast. I'm just show. So this is. So this is granola. So this is granola. It's really good for your health. And it's really yummy. I always try this one. It's really good. I got it for free though. Uh, okay, so that's it. Now I'm gonna just finish my breakfast and then get ready. And then just head towards the station. Alright, so. <sighs> now I'm gonna run to the Lincoln's Inn because from there my bus will start and then we all the future barristers will head towards <laughs> the scarman house in coventry and there we have to stay like two nights and three days so i'm super excited and i'm super late it's 12 17 and i was supposed to leave my home at 12 so i'm 18 minutes late now anyway so i'm gonna see you there uh okay so the coach is going to start from lincoln's Inn. i'm at lincoln's Inn. I'm just going to show you around, it's so beautiful. It is just fantastic. Wow. So I need to go straight. I think those are also the people who are leaving with me today. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. It's just so beautiful. My goodness.
reached this Carmen house. And we are gonna go to our rooms. Going to our room. Okay, so got the key and now I'm just trying to find my room. Oh man. Like I haven't had anything since morning and now it's like almost six. Where is it? Yeah, this one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. Alright, so this is my room for the next two nights. It's so beautiful. Tired as hell. The washroom looks super clean. That's my bed. It's so fucking beautiful. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, it just made me have it so beautiful. And the view. Wow, wow, wow. I'm really happy. I'm so fucking happy. Wow. Okay, so we got a hairdryer, some coffee. Oh my god, I'm gonna have it. I'm so fucking hungry. I really need this. Anyway, so that's the room, that's the view, that's me, that's the door, and that's the washroom. Oh, it's just perfect! I'm so happy! <laughs> okay, so now I'm just gonna rest because I'm so tired. It was like almost a three hours um, journey from London to Coventry. So, yeah, like relax a little bit. And then we need to go to the reception exactly at three. So yeah. We had a little dinner. I was about to say lunch. We had dinner and it was great. Met so many people, talked to so many judges and barristers. And we had like a session where they were showing us how to do advocacy, uh, civil advocacy. And then after dinner, now everyone is at the bar, like they're drinking and you know, mingling. I'm so tired. I just cannot do that. I don't want to do that actually. So I guess I'm done for the day. I'm just gonna go to bed. I'm tired. I'm really tired. And it was an amazing day. Like, I didn't experience anything similar to that before. Like, never. You know, met so many new people and like you need to talk to them. And, um, it was nice, like everyone is, you know, showing their best behavior and um, having dinner with some people and amazing. Like I never experienced anything similar to that before. So um, yeah, it was cool. It was really cool. So now I'm just gonna do my stuff and go to bed. So now it's 5.17 a.m. I woke up. I made my coffee and I am sitting in front of the laptop because I will prepare my advocacy. Okay, so I don't know why I function like this. Like, you know, I always leave everything for the last minute. It's really bad, but that is how I work. Like, 
I don't know why. Just look at my under eye bags and then dark circles. Um, yeah, so hopefully I can do it. I have exactly two hours left. In two hours, I need to finish like civil and criminal advocacy. Um, so it's like I need to uh, convince my judge that uh, my client should be acquitted. Okay. Or for civil case, my client should be um, like the not civil case. Oh my God, my head. I hope I can do it. So I need to convince my judge for a criminal case that uh, the custodial sentence of my client should be suspended. Why it should be suspended? I have to give like a lot of reasons and then I need to like just, you know, convince the judge using the laws and facts and everything. Okay. And for civil case, I need to convince the judge why an interim injunction should be given. So, yeah, hopefully it will be all right. I never did this thing before. Like, I never did any advocacy because um, I just started my bar course. So, I'm not, like, um, like, I'm very new at this. So, I don't know how to do it, actually. So, I'm very nervous. As you can see, like, I'm just going to start. It's the study pack in front of me. So, there are, like, few exercises. So, I start, I'm going to start with the civil one so it's um john smith and co versus countryside festivals so i'm gonna be the lawyer for this case and my clients are these four people and this is the defendant so here just the facts are written and i need to like do some research on you know these things and then i'm gonna just fight for my clients and try to convince the judge so um see the question is written here you will have to satisfy the court that it is appropriate to grant the interim remedy before a claim has been made and uh, as to the appropriateness of the order sought so yeah it's not but try and you know I have like a fear of getting judged so let's see what happens i'm positive and also nervous and also <laughs> i don't know that's why i just you know woke up just imagine like i had such a comfy bed i woke up and i'm like i need to work i need to work on it man i'm so fucking stressed just look at my under eye okay so um let me start now. Wish me luck. <laughs> so I just uh, prepared my civil advocacy. I am not sure. <laughs> Only 30 minutes left for preparing my criminal advocacy. I have no idea how I'm going to do that. I took one and a half hours for preparing the civil. And 30 minutes left for criminal. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Okay. So, let's try. Just one time rehearse. Okay. Your Honor, I'm here to represent my clients, Mr. and Mrs. Smith and Mr. Wand, so their interests are properly protected. So, I'm going to deal with four matters here. Firstly, I'm going to deal with the case facts. Oh, God, no. Firstly, I'm going to give a brief description of the case facts and then I'm going to look into part 25 of CPR and then also I'm going to go through the American Sinamide case because in this case some legal principles were set out which supports my case and then make an oral application for an interim injunction and lastly try to satisfy you as to why it is appropriate to grant an interim injunction in this case. So now I'm going to give a brief explanation, brief description of the facts of this case. So my clients are the lease holders of a stately home in the countryside and they moved here over three months ago. So they live 
in units on the eastern boundary of the house, which is very close to a farmland where there is a festival going on, which plays music from 10 a.m. until midnight, and from 10 a.m. Uh, to midnight, and from midnight to 10 a.m., hundreds of people can play music and play music. So, um, this is clear that there is a 24-hour music and play in that area. So, um, in that area, it's overcrowded as 5,000 extra people can be festival. So, now I'm going to say the problems my clients are facing due to the festival where a lot of music is being played all the time. So, Mr. and Mrs. Smith have two children aged three and six months. So Mrs. Smith is suffering from medical condition, and it's a severe post-medical depression. So, a medical report and disability states that extreme loud murder in the period of time can be the condition more than so, um, I'm done preparing the criminal advocacy as well. It's 8-7. So, I think I took one hour. And now I'm just going to get ready quickly. And because the breakfast um, hour finishes at 9, free breakfast. So, obviously, I'm not going to miss it. So, I'm going to go. I'm hungry. And I'm going to go. I, I made quite a lot of friends here. So, I'm going to go down with Yusra. She's from Pakistan, Karachi, I guess. And then we are going to have breakfast. And then maybe I'll come upstairs to take my laptop with me. And then we are going to go and start these sessions. <laughs> this is my first time doing advocacy. I'm so nervous and also excited. I don't know. Like, oh, God. Anyways, I'm going to get ready now. God, it's so beautiful. I just saw a rabbit here. I swear. Oh, it's there, it's there, it's there. So beautiful. Oh my goodness. All right, so I just came to my room quickly. I just finished my civil advocacy. I don't know what to say. Like, I am so freaking happy right now. It was amazing. Like, I didn't even expect. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, I'm so freaking happy. So the thing is, I performed really well. I was shaking. Like, I was so nervous. My, uh, my heart was, like, pounding that hard. Anyways, so it was, alhamdulillah, really good. I am very proud of myself. And now I'm going to run. I just came to my room to do this video and also to pee. And I'm going to run. And at 12.15, we have, like, this ethics session. And there also I need one point. So hopefully I'll pass. And after that, we have lunch. And after lunch, we have uh, criminal advocacy. That's, the, that's, like, the last hard part tomorrow we have like public speaking but that's okay because that's like i didn't make any notes it's just like you know what i know about my weight loss journey i'm just gonna say that because they are asking for us to speak about a light topic not something legal you know like so anyways uh i'm prepared for that but i'm like a little bit scared about the ethics because uh we didn't have like any ethics class in our university yet apart from that i'm really 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 satisfied with my civil performance it was so good like right, you know like the judge was giving um feedback to other students so they were saying that you were really scriptive. You were really scriptive. You were just looking at the notes or the laptop. You were not, you know, like making eye contacts. But for me, they were like, well done. So Alhamdulillah, mashallah, everything. So yeah, I'm really happy. They were like, really, uh, you, your posture was good. Your, you know, like hand movements, your eye contact, and then your pronunciation and everything. So I don't know, um, one mistake, like <laughs> there was a case, American cyanide, and I was saying American cyanide. <laughs> that was so stupid of me, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm done. I did well. So proud of me. Anyway, so just, this is my view right now. I don't know if I'm in heaven. I'm in University of Warwick. So in this university, my grandfather did his master's and I'm so proud. I'm so I'm such a proud granddaughter. So yeah, just imagine like I came here from a Lincoln in session. Like I wish my grandfather was alive and he would, you know, like witness this. He would be so happy, I'm sure. So yeah. I'm running late. I need to pee and then run to uh, the first floor for some refreshments and everything. And then I'm just going to go to room number 44, I guess. There, I'm going to have my ethics session and then done. Then we are going to have lunch. So I'm ready for the day and hopefully everything's going to be okay.
Okay, so um, <laughs> as you can see, I'm not super excited right now because after my criminal advocacy, I really don't know what to say because um, it wasn't that great, but I'm not that much bothered about it. It's just that, you know, like I um, didn't do that well. So there is something that, you know, my client, um, okay, so let me just give a brief description of the fact of my case. So the thing is, um, my client um, is a very good rugby player and he won one important match. So on a Saturday night, he went out with his five other friends and then uh, they all were drunk and now my client is arrested and is charged under section 47 OAPA so now I'm the solicitor so the thing is um, my client has pleaded guilty so he said that he actually committed the crime. So now it's my job to, you know, like make his punishment less. Okay. So that's why I submitted my case in front of the judge. And the judge, oh my goodness, like the judicial intervention was so tricky. It was so difficult. Like at some point I was like just speechless. I was like, I don't know what to say. Like, I really don't know what to say. So, you know, I was confused. I, I just froze. Anyways, but still, I wasn't like, you know, I wasn't blank. I I continued my case. And then, so the thing is, there is a sentencing guideline. So, um, you know, for assault occasioning actual bodily harm, there is like a chart, you know, that uh, in under which category your case falls. So I told the judge that my case falls under category C, which has the least punishment, okay? But the judge was like, no, you're wrong. Your case falls under category A. And I was like, sorry, no, because my client didn't do the crime. They all were drunk and the victim never, never confirmed that it was my client who did this. But the judge was like, but your client pleaded guilty. He said that he did the crime. He pleaded guilty. So he is going to be punished. And I was like, okay, all right. But the thing is, I am, you know, like inviting the court to give him a lesser punishment. So maybe instead of imprisonment, um, give him like, you know, unpaid work or he can work on his anger management like by doing a course anger management course or maybe alcohol uh, dependency course like something like that because he's only 18 years old and he has a very bright future ahead of him so you know like if he goes to the prison then this 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 this, this will happen and it is not good for a young man and uh, you know like we were arguing and the judge was like at some point uh i don't know it was like too much because yes obvi obviously i'm going to argue but uh you cannot you know like um, try hard to prove that your judge is wrong you cannot do that so it was like a little bit tricky so i'm not very happy with my submission to be very honest so when the judge was giving me the feedback of my submission the judge was like um you know you should be realistic you were asking for something that is not even possible. Like, this is a serious harm. Like, he broke his leg and there is a scar. So, you cannot ask for, you know, like, something um, like, what is it, a social work. No, he will be, you know, getting imprisonment. And I was like, yeah, okay. And then that's it. Anyways, uh, it was okay. 
they do not actually see the legal content what they look for is the advocacy you know your posture the way you're speaking the your argue uh, your argumentative skill i don't know what is it called like like how you are arguing okay and then um your pronunciation and you know like everything are you following the structure or everything so um overall it was okay they said well done blah 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 but these are the tips you need to follow so i guess it was fine but i was just like disappointed in myself but at the same time i'm happy that it's just done like civil was i don't know what to say like it was super and then ethics went well and the criminal was like ah and uh, done for today's sessions but there is one like another session which is like um what is it about oh my god i forgot like there is another session okay but it's not interactive so i'm okay so if you're thinking about my hair it's uh, i know it's it looks weird but uh, i just you know like did this so that i get some natural curls because i'm tired of my straight hair i needed some curl and i didn't bring my curler with me here Gonna occupy Palestine, I think so. They started the government. Uh, something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, her name is Sarah, and her father is a lawyer. <laughs> Hi. I look like. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Why is it running away from me? done with the speak up session and say something <laughs> she talked all about uh, about how she got into fitness and everything and she talked about how she put sauce in the plate and she <laughs> in the oven. i fried the chicken and then i made the sauce <laughs> oh my god wow Okay, so it's the bus and it feels so bad to say goodbye to everyone. It was a wonderful, wonderful uh, weekend here. Uh, I never had such an amazing experience. Socialize, dine out, dining, uh, meeting new people, barristers, judges, it was wonderful. Exactly, exactly. Like I never experienced anything like this before and I don't know, hopefully I'll meet these people again soon. And there is our bus waiting straight to London. Coventry is actually a beautiful city. I hope to come here because I haven't explored much. So maybe I'll come back again and explore. But it was nice staying uh, at the Warwick University. And this was the conference center where we stayed. It's Carmen. Anyways, now I have to get my luggage. Yeah. All right. So I just came back from uh, Lincoln's Inn, and I just wanted to like make a quick video, and you know, like um, I just want to document it so that I don't forget the details because you don't remember everything, right? Like after one week or two weeks, I'm gonna forget. Um, some of the things that I don't want to forget so I that's why I want to like you know do this video anyway so 
Uh, I went to the Lincoln's Inn and then from there the bus started and we went to Coventry. So I really needed a very good sleep okay before this journey but I couldn't sleep because I had to like prepare for all the sessions advocacy sessions and public speaking and then the ethics so you know there were like a lot of activities that I needed to prepare for so um, I started till 3 and then I went to bed and then a spider came and it was like walking here and I couldn't sleep at all after that I searched everywhere I couldn't find it anywhere so I knew that it was in my room somewhere but I didn't know like where was it and it's still in my room so I have to just live with the fact that it's still in my room it's alive it's walking it may come on top of me like that night again but um yeah okay so the thing is uh i couldn't sleep okay so then i just slept for like three hours and then i woke up i had uh, oh no i didn't have coffee i had breakfast some granola and then i got ready and then i um headed towards lincoln's inn and because i didn't want to miss the bus anyway so then i went to the lincoln's inn and i saw that it's such a beautiful place so that was my first time there and i was shocked that i live in london and i never w went there like it's such a shame right anyway so then i went in front of the bus and i saw so many students in front um of the bus standing with their luggages so i was like yeah they are going with me and we all are like future barristers hopefully <laughs> and it was such a great feeling and then you know i started speaking to everyone i met um yustra i met wally i met um i'm so bad with names nazar and then I met Parisha, I met Maylim, I met uh, Namrata, she's from Mauritius. And then I met Chris, Christina, uh, she's from Malaysia. So, um, yeah, I, Olivia, like so many other people, like I cannot even remember the names because, <laughs> yeah, so it was like in such a short time, you met so many different uh, people and remembering the name is quite a difficult task okay so the thing is we met and then we started speaking and um then we went to the bus and the bus started and it went to scarman directly i think it took two and a half hours or like a little bit more than that anyway so then we reached and it was feeling so good like the feeling was unreal you know because i never did anything like that before like the experience was totally um fantastic so uh we went there and one thing it was in my mind that um uh university of warwick is like very special for me because my grandfather did his master's from that university so you know as his granddaughter i'm going there in the conference uh, center the scarman house and i'm gonna stay there for two nights i was like you know feeling a little bit proud not a little bit proud, a little bit sad and a lot proud because, um, you know, I was feeling sad because uh, I wish my grandfather was alive so that, you know, I could just go to him and I could just say, hey, I went there and, you know, this, 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 this happened and he would be so proud, I'm sure. So I was sad because of that, because that uh, was never possible and also happy and proud that my grandfather did his master's from this university. That's a huge thing. And, you know, I, um, I went there for my Lincoln's in session and I have like sub some submissions to do. So it's a big thing, actually, for me. Anyway, so then what happened? Uh, we went to our rooms. We had like one hour to, um, you know, change and then... Um, just to like you know for refreshment we got one hour break and not break like one hour time anyways and then after that uh okay so i need to now see the um timetables and everything because they gave us something like this you know where it is written so i just want to like you know go through it because i forgot everything because there was so much to do like one after another like at three you need to be here at four you need to be there at five this session will start at six that session will start you know like it was like uh, my mind was all over the place anyways so it was really intense but we enjoyed it you know like we enjoyed it I don't have any words because, you know, I have never experienced something like this before. So I don't know how to describe the feeling. But obviously, it's good. Uh, it's positive feeling. Anyway, so then um, at 6, we had to, like, uh, meet everyone 
at the reception and then um yeah so we went to our room and the room was so beautiful it was so modern we were absolutely like you know shocked because uh it had all the modern you know like lights and uh, it had fans because none of the hotel i went to in the uk had fans so that had a fan and then um there were so many other things like the you know like the mirrors and everything were so modern and my view was so beautiful like uh whenever i used to look outside during the daytime i could see like you know rabbits just running hopping and it was it was beautiful Anyway, so then I was really happy seeing the um, room that I got. And then at 6, we went to the reception. And then at, at 6.45, there was a welcome and introduction session. So we all went there. And, you know, before that, uh, we were at the bar. And everyone was, like, having a drink and then talking to each other. And we don't know anyone, okay? Like everyone is stranger and everyone is doing the same course so you just go to someone and you just start speaking to them and we got a batch where it's written you know uh i'm from uh, like i'm doing my bar from this university i'm in this group and like this like you know my name my university and the group number anyway so everyone was like you know coming to me and everyone was like oh you're sarah okay so you're doing your law from bpp wow so uh how are you finding it blah 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 and you know like it was nice we met so many people in one night okay <laughs> So it was like you just talk to a person for five minutes and then you move to the other person and then you move to the other person and then it becomes a group and then you again go to another person and then there were judges, there were barristers, there were tutors, there were, you know, like um, so many people and they were coming to us and they're so friendly, they're super friendly and nice people, they're so decent, you know, there is so much to learn from them. So um, they were coming and they were like, hey, ladies, man introduce myself so i'm this i'm that i'm a member of the chambers and you know um so what are you doing what did you get in your uh llb from where did you do it you know like so many questions so it was a very nice feeling so after that as i have already mentioned that we went to welcome and introduction session and it was very nice it was really you know like everyone was chilled Anyways, and then um, at 7.15, there was an advocacy demonstration in the same room. So it was like, so that was Friday. On Saturday, we had two advocacy sessions. One is criminal advocacy. Another one is civil advocacy. And then in, the, in between, there was ethics. Okay. And after that, there was something else. I forgot what was that. So much. It was just yesterday. Like, I cannot even believe Oh my god, it was actually yesterday. So, okay. So, they were, you know, like, showing us, like, they were giving us a demonstration. Like, one judge and one barrister was, you know, like, giving us the demonstration, like, how to do advocacy. So, you know, like, one judge and one um, barrister was actually showing us, like, they were giving us a demonstration on how to do advocacy because the next day we have to do that. And they were just, you know, like, showing us, they were just giving us a demo. So, the barrister was actually giving a submission in front of the judge. And the judge was, you know, like, uh, doing judicial intervention like he uh, he was questioning the barrister okay and the barrister was uh, answering all the questions and then still continuing with his submission so it was a nice thing to see so after that um we had dinner at eight and the dinner was so good my god all the meals i had there was just proper and yummy Anyways, so then uh, after that, I was super stressed because you have to talk to so many people, like so many people, okay? Everyone is coming from different, different places. Like some person, some people came from City University, which is actually my dream university, but uh, it's okay. <laughs> I couldn't do my bar from City University, but that's fine. That's not the end of the world. Anyway, so um, some were coming from BPP Bristol, BPP Manchester, and then some were coming from UE Bristol, my university. I did my master's from there. 
and then some were coming from you law so you know like it was all you know like all the people are mixing were so it was nice and then uh we had dinner and then the bar opened at 9 30 till 12 but um i was so tired and i was so exhausted and i was so um you know stressed about the next day do the civil advocacy you have to do the criminal advocacy and uh, there is ethics exercises so they gave us like three scenarios uh and then they will ask for uh you know our thought that what we think about the scenarios um you know they will just test how ethical are we so i'll just give you one example when i talk about it okay so then i just went to the room i didn't stay at the bar there were many people you know like talking to each other knowing each other and then chatting having a drink i just went to my room i took shower and i slept mm, i went for breakfast at eight i guess and then at nine the lectures started okay so at nine there was like a briefing for tutors only and then at 9 30 there was icebreaker session so okay let me explain now so the thing is at 9 30 we went to our rooms like we were divided into into 10 groups okay oh i was in group two so uh and space 32 yeah so i went to space 33 and i was sitting there and then uh, they, the judge was like, uh, there is supposed to be seven people. Why are there eight people? And I was like, oh my God, wait, let me check. And then I saw that I'm in room, uh, I'm in space 32. And I just ran out of the room and I went to space 32. So here, all of them maintain time, like, you know, properly because you need to be really punctual or else, you know, you it's not you know like a good thing like as a future barrister you cannot do this these doesn't look good and also um if i'm going to attend the sessions properly then i'm going to get the uh, qualifying session point if i'm late if i'm performing bad i'm not gonna get the point so that's why you know like maintaining time is a very important thing to do so that's why i was like stressing that i'm in the wrong room so i just you know like ran to the other room and then uh they were really nice they were like oh good morning we were waiting for you and then uh i went and i said sorry i'm late sorry i was in the next room then what happened is at 9 30 there was one icebreaker in advocacy group so what is that so we were seven people and uh i like the peep the person who sat beside me i have to ask him questions and that person is going to ask me questions about myself okay and we would know about each other and then we are going to stand up and i'm going to introduce that person in front of everyone okay <laughs> and that person is going to introduce me in front of everyone so it's a really fun task he's nazar and he's from pakistan and then i asked him about you know like his um, hobbies and everything and from where he did his undergrad and everything so then i introduced him he introduced me and such a funny thing happened so they gave us only 10 minutes okay so in 10 minutes i cannot learn so many information about the other person right and also the same goes for him like he cannot learn about me so much in 10 minutes so then what happened um uh, he started speaking about me <laughs> And then he just made information like what the fuck he said that uh, so she be she wants to become a barrister because her dad is a lawyer. What the fuck? The purpose of doing this exercise is you know because um is to like make us feel comfortable speaking in front of everyone because we are going to give advo we are going to do advocacy now so you know like this is to just you know break the ice so then at 10 uh we had civil advocacy exercise and judge was really happy the judge continuously like the judge was asking me so many questions like they were doing uh you know like judicial intervention so it is like when you were representing your client in front of a judge, you are giving, uh, you know, a submission. Your judge uh, has the right to ask you questions, okay? I could answer everything and in the room, everyone was so proud of me. And I was proud of me. I was like, wow, I didn't know I could do this. Anyway, so I was like, you know, uh, my confidence level was... 
and then um then what happened we went for a break it was like a tea coffee and refreshment you know and then um at 12 15 there was one ethics session so okay now let me give the example so there were like three scenarios i forgot the other two i just remember one so let's say that you were taking uh you were dealing with a case and your uh you just gave a submission in front of your judge uh for your client and then uh you were on a break with your client and then your client said hey you know um i went on holiday see this is my uh, holiday picture so you are seeing on your phone that uh, your client is uh, running on the beach and you know riding horse and everything and enjoying and leading a normal life however the case is about you know that the defendant caused harm to your claimant and for that reason the claimant is suffering and uh, cannot you know like walk properly cannot you know like um, lead his life properly like cannot do normal activities properly so you are asking for compensation however your client is showing you some picture of his holiday okay and he's saying that this is just last this is just last august i did this and i went to spain for holiday and blah blah so now what is your role as a barrister okay so this actually shows how ethical you are so uh obviously you have to do the right thing right so as a barrister what you need to do is tell your client that sorry this is not right like i cannot continue doing your case because uh, this is like you know lying and this is um unethical so then you need to go to the judge and you need to like you know say that i need to withdraw this these kind of scenarios were given and they were uh, showing us what's the right thing to do as a barrister okay because uh we need to be very ethical so then after the ethics session we went for lunch and then at three we had the criminal advocacy session okay and oh my goodness so remember i told you that i only had one hour to prepare for the criminal and i was like more confident for criminal advocacy than the civil advocacy but it was just the opposite like my performance wasn't very good like my performance was good i was confident actually let me just explain when i'm saying i'm confident it doesn't mean that i was like you know just confident ready with my case and i was just you know like uh, submitting my case no i was shaking my heart was panting it was like you know coming out of my body but um at the same time i managed to submit my case you know like i did good like i'm proud of myself alhamdulillah mashallah so um yeah so you know like you will get scared but that doesn't mean you will just you know like faint no i didn't do that so it was really nice that you know like seeing myself for the first time doing this kind of thing and i was like so proud of myself and i was feeling so happy that i can actually do this because in my group there were like two british and they were like you know british are always super prepared and you know talented number one because it's their first language and number two they're like you know they have so many resources which we don't have and they grew up here and they have like libraries and everything but we don't have anything in our in back home so um the thing is i i don't want to brag but i got better remarks from the judges than they got you know so i was really happy that wow i can do this like you know i was learning to believe in myself you need to believe in yourself and you need to be confident and you need to know that you can do it like you will do it okay there is no reason why you can't do it so i was like amazed that how much i can do actually i was amazed so then the criminal advocacy finished and i wasn't satisfied with my own performance but i was happy that it it finished and i did what i could do okay and the judges uh, said that well done blah 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 but i i think i already described what happened in the criminal advocacy in uh, one of my previous uh, videos anyways and then um 
what happened is till 4.45, we had the criminal session. And then we were, you know, like free, totally free. So we went out for a walk. So we explored the whole war week. Um, we explored the entire war week uh, university campus. It's a beautiful one, but nothing compared to UV. U is number one. Like to me, UV is number one. Anyway, so then we went to the Warwick Law School, like law building. We saw that business building, library, you know, like we just explored and it's like still autumn. So, um, you know, the leaves are falling and we were doing boomerangs. We were taking pictures. We were making videos like, you know, we made some friends there and then it was a very nice time there. So it was cold, it was raining, and at the same time, we were, like, you know, having so much fun. So it was nice. And then at 7, we had dinner. The dinner was so tasty. God, it, it was really tasty. I'm going to touch some of the pictures. And then um, at 8.45, there was the last session for the day. God, finally. So then um, it was about 10 top tips by Matthew Helens. Matthew Helens is such a funny person. Like, um, he makes so much fun out of everything. And then the bar opened and then the bar closed at 12. But um, we didn't really go to the bar because we preferred, like, me and the friends I made, we all wanted to, like, you know, go and explore more. So we went out. And then we came back, I took shower and I slept. And finally that night I had a good sleep because, um, you know, for the next day I didn't have to prepare anything. Although next day means today, Sunday, I had to do a speak up public speaking exercise. Okay. So the thing is, um, I slept only six hours and then I woke up and then I just, you know, had something in my mind that, you know, I'm going to speak about this. And then they said, just go for a light topic, like, you know, like simple, funny, uh, for example, your hobbies or anything else that, you know, is fun. So then what happened is, uh, and then I chose to speak about my weight loss journey, even though I gained a lot of weight, I know, but um, I spoke about it because that's a true story <laughs> that actually happened. And, you know, um, I spoke about uh, my weight loss journey and the things that I have learned throughout my journey, like um, nutrition, you know, I did some research about nutrition and I talked about my PCOS and then I talked about how I... Um, fell in love with weightlifting and why I hate cardio. So I was speaking about it. And the judge, Sarah Memek, I loved her. Like Sarah Memek was the judge, uh, was the judge in my group. And she judged uh, my civil advocacy, my criminal advocacy, and also my s public speaking. I just love her. I love that woman. Like, she is so confident. She speaks so well. So, she's not from here. And she is a member of the chambers. And she was my judge for all these sessions. And she was so nice. Like, I don't know how to describe. She's so confident. Like, I loved her confidence. I want to be a woman like that. And I didn't even know that she's a fitness instructor at a gym. I didn't know. I'm really excited about your topic and I want to know more. I wish I had time. So each one of us had like five minutes to speak about. So she was like um, saying really good things and I didn't have any script with me. Like, you know, I didn't have anything prepared. It was all in my head and I just said what I, you know, like want, uh, thought that it is a good thing to share. So I just talked and she really liked it. And I was the only person who didn't have a script. And she actually, you know, like appreciated it. The judge said that you should uh, make eye contacts. You should move your hands and you should, you know, like be uh, confident. Like just believe in yourself that you have prepared it. And it's it's all in your mind. One of our group members, <laughs> Namrata from Mauritius, she spoke about her hobby cooking and she was so sweet oh my god she was like i fried the chicken and then i made a sauce i love cooking the aroma and <laughs> she's really sweet and funny like i just loved her i loved her and the judge was like you're so nice like you are so confident it's really nice that you are talking about something that you're passionate about you know so it's really nice to see that uh if you are being honest if you are real 
everyone loves you the thing is the message that i got from here is that you know like during our advocacy sessions like when we are making a submission we have to know our case in such a way that if we get questions from anywhere we can we are able to answer it we have to like know our case thoroughly okay so that's what i learned and my confidence level rose I don't know like how to explain the judge was saying that see everyone from yesterday you are today more confident aren't you and we were like yes we are and then she was like see so you just need to like you know speak up you need to uh, see yourself doing advocacy you need to teach yourself advocacy and that's how you will learn advocacy it's nothing hard it's just in your mind that you know you're scared you're having adrenaline rush just you know like practice and um, just believe in yourself. You know the case. You know the facts. You know your client. Fight for it. So after that, our speak up session, we were all done with all our exercises. So it was super duper intense. Like the last two days are super intense. Okay, because we need to, we had to like prepare. One exercise finishes, we start worrying about another one. You know, the next one. That one finishes, we then worry about the other one. So after this speak up session, the public speaking, we were like totally relaxed. We were like, we are done. We did it. And we were like, you know, um, talking to each other. We were adding each other on Instagram. And uh, people are so nice. Like I have my graduation ceremony uh, next month. Uh, so I'll be going to Bristol. And um two of the friends I made there, Parisha and Maylene, they were like, hey, whenever you come to Bristol, just message me. We will go out. We'll hang out. You can come to my place. We will, you know. And I was like, wow, I would love that. I will message you for sure. Three times a day, we were eating food together, okay? And then we were in a group. And the group members, you know, the connection between the group members were such that, you know, we are a family. We are supporting each other. We were, you know, like helping each other. We were... um trusting each other like it's such a nice thing to do like i didn't even know that this person exists just two days ago and now that person is so close to my heart like it's it's a really good feeling and one thing i want to talk about is uh, so one person in my group in public speaking uh so he was talking about uh his depression and that in 2017 he tr he tried um committing suicide seven times and then uh, he has like a lot of tattoos. So he thinks that he doesn't fit in. And then he was like, you know, when he was delivering his speech, he was shaking and he was almost crying. And then uh, the judge, you know, we all clapped for him after his speech. And the judge was like, see, this is the right thing to do that you spoke up and never ever never ever feel bad to share about your mental health because mental health mental well-being is such an important issue okay never ever hide it never like if you are not feeling okay if your mental health is not okay Go for a break. Ask for a break. Like never ever make yourself suffer. Okay. Yes, we cannot see it. But do not hide it. Like if I'm asking you, how are you? And if you're not okay, just say I'm not okay. I'm super stressed. Just do not say, yeah, I'm okay. And no, talk to people. Share your feelings. Maybe that person can help you. Maybe that person can bring you out of it. You know, you never know. So just do not keep it to yourself. Keep it in yourself. Just, you know, like um, share. Do whatever helps you. Okay, so that's uh, that's an important message that I got from the public speaking session. It was really um, enlightening, you know, when the judge was talking about mental health and mental well-being. And um, kudos to the member in my team who actually spoke about it because it's not easy to because um there are people in this world who still thinks that you know uh you having mental health issues or you're not okay mentally means you are weak 
no it's not it's nothing it's not even related to weakness no like you get tired physically so it's possible that you know it's very much possible that uh you get tired mentally as well if you need a break take a break okay if you need to share something just share if you if it makes you feel good just do it just you know it's nothing to be ashamed of mental health is a big issue now and i'm so lucky that you know like now there are so many um uh, organizations which actually helps us so that's it that so you know like that's the thing that you should never be ashamed if you have uh depression or something or mental health issues or you're suffering mentally then at 11 we had a question answer session so in the question answer session we all also we all had a lot of fun so it was like um we all had some questions we submitted it and then they you know like um gave us the opportunity to ask the judges and the barristers some questions like it was uh sometimes it was some of the silly questions that you know does the wig that the judges wear does it you know make your scalp itchy or um is the black gown too heavy or you know like this kind of question so uh asking the judge that what made you choose this uh career path or why did you study law you know like this kind of questions we could ask and it was so nice that you know we had this kind of interaction because um it doesn't happen every day like you cannot just go to a judge and ask these questions no so this was a great opportunity to you know like uh for the students for us to connect with the judges to you know like um ask whatever we have in our head and, and then at 12 15 there was like closing remarks so you know like we thanked everyone who came here and so many people worked so hard to you know like make it possible and um yeah so that time i started feeling bad because that that's the end that's the end of it and i had such a great experience like i met some amazing souls and um yeah we are connected on social media but we are from different universities and it's not possible for us to like meet every day or you know like uh, stay connected but yeah obviously we are gonna try because we are gonna be colleagues in the future hopefully inshallah so you know it's good that we made some connection I'm happy that I went through this experience and also everyone doesn't get a chance and I'm one of the lucky ones who got a chance for this. And so I'm one of the lucky ones and I'm happy about it. So yeah, that's it was all about. And I learned so much and um you know it was nice like when the bus stopped in Lincoln's Inn and we all were coming out I was feeling bad that oh my god it feels like you know I'm going away from a family and we just stayed there for like two and a half days but it feels like we were together forever <laughs> so you know like seeing everyone going through the same tension stress intensity you know like everyone is preparing everyone is you know like um also having fun also preparing like also making connections also you know having a drink together and then chatting and then you know like um i'm going to her room i'm he's coming to my room and then we were having food together we were just chatting we were laughing we were making fun of each other like it was so fun so yeah it was really nice like uh, I wish it was for like one week but whatever happens you know like happens for the good so yeah I guess that's it I'm feeling a little bit bad also I'm like you know happy that it's finished and hopefully I'll be getting six qualifying session points and um, so now I can focus on my studies because I need like three other points because i already have one point ah too much information anyway so that's it and hopefully i'm gonna see you guys in my next video bye